Ah, the 90s. Back when rock was taking a new direction. Back when Jim Carrey made three of the best comedies in a year, and back when Gwen Stefani was considered a musician, the decade has a very special part of my life. Now, there is no denying that there were a bunch of music videos in the 90s that are considered classics. These are iconic videos of the 90s. Some of the videos were great, mostly helped by a bigger budget, and most people knew how to use their money for better use. But for every good, big budget video like Black or White, there's going to be one that is pretty bad. Good introduction for an MC Hammer video, isn't it? MC, MC Hammer, Hammer, Hammer. Now MC Hammer was on the top of his game in the 90s with success. I'm using that word in quotes. And he set out to make himself even bigger than he was. Enter Too Legit to Quit, which is one of the most expensive videos of all time, which included some of the biggest stars at the time and was directed by the man who directed Blank Check and the Fog remake. And what results is a big egotistical mess. And a major shock to Western culture as we know it, Hammer has quit. At the peak of his popularity, and on the eve of the biggest concert of his career, Hammer has disappeared. And no one's looking for him? For all we know, he could have been beaten up and near death in an alley. Thank God I live in 2014, otherwise I could actually care. So we have a bunch of celebrities reacting to the news that Hammer is gone. Something strange. Maybe, maybe he didn't sing on the record. Well, isn't that the pot calling the kettle a negro? And this whole thing with these celebrities? Three and a half minutes. Look, I don't care how big your video may seem. Three and a half minutes of the most popular people at the time praising you and wanting you to come back is a big ego bite. I sold every seat in this house. He's got to be here. It's just not going to happen. I know it. in big trouble. Wait, are you kidding? Didn't you hear the news? Hammer has disappeared. Friends, relatives, and associates have no clue whatsoever as to his whereabouts. Why are you still holding the concert? Call the police and put out a search. Wait, this is Hammer's house? Wait, can we go back to the beginning of the video, please? Friends, relatives, and associates have no clue whatsoever as to his whereabouts. And no one bothered to check his house. You know, deep down, I'm beginning to think that these people don't care if Hammer is gone. Godfather, may I enter? Yes, Godson, you may enter. So James Brown has taken MC Hammer hostage. Good. One thing I desire. Bring back the glove. So let it be written. You don't want the glove. I don't know what Lucas from The Wizard told you, but uh... Oh, I, oh, you mean Michael Jackson's glove? Well, you have to take it from his cold, dead hands. Oh my god, the Wiseau film's logo was terrorizing the city! Oh, hi, everybody! Is it God? Sweat running all over my chest. Oh, it's better than God. It's the second coming of Christ. Yeah, so, uh, how long did it take for this song to start? Michael Jackson's thriller took less time to start, and that was a mini movie. And by the way, nice keeping your audience waiting for. Let's put aside the fact that little kids would be complaining if they had to wait three hours for a concert consisting of one song. If a crowd waited for you for three hours, no one would cheer for you when you finally arrived. Uh, Hammer, could you do us a favor? Could you perform Can't Touch This? Thank you, um, that's why we're all here. It's a shame I gotta do it, but I remain the same. I'm getting better, never known as a But now we see Hammer performing the song in hell. Hey, it was made there, so it fits. Mine's one of these two together in a video. 